All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down there. Uh, so in this video today, we're actually going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the timing on the uh, Genesis, Genesis Coupe 2.0 block, which as you can see, it's done already, but I filmed earlier um, how to do it. And um, also, uh, if you go back to the last video, I, uh, that's where I installed the head and things like that. Um, doing the timing on this block is fairly easy. Um, as you'll hear me say later on, um, just take your time. Uh, and uh, one of the things I did was I ended up buying new guides because you might as well since you're already in there. Um, but, you know, let's get to that. Oh, actually, before we do, I'm starting, I'm thinking about actually going live every Sunday. I'm just trying to determine the time. Once I figure out that time, I'll let you guys know. Um, I'm thinking maybe around one two o'clock every sunday so if you guys would be down for that um just let me know in the comment section of this video um so let's uh let's uh let's do the timing okay and uh enjoy okay so doing the timing on a genesis coupe 2.0 block is fairly simple you've got five timing marks and what i'll do is i'll later on i'll try to zoom in when i'm editing this video but you've got uh, timing mark right here um, it's a little dot you've got another timing mark right there that's another little dot you've got t a timing mark here on the cam which it's interesting because the timing mark across from it isn't sitting in the same spot it's sitting like oddly like right here not actually on on the actual gear um, but it, these two should be across from each other then the fifth one is down here on that um on the uh timing chain gear um it's another dot and the three dots are what's important because these three dots are gonna is are the dots that are gonna help you line up your timing chain so we're gonna actually do that now and then um you know we'll go from there uh because we also have to put the guides on and things like that so let's go ahead and do that right now Okay, so the other thing is to finding the timing marks on a timing chain, it's really easy. You've got three marks. They're um, the uh, links on the chain, they're copper, uh, copper color, excuse me. So you've got one here, one here, and one down here. Now, this is a BK2 timing chain, which is stronger than a BK1. I suggest you get that timing chain. Um, but they have these, they have four copper colored timing links up, uh, links up here. Um, and basically these pretty much sit in the middle. Um, so you don't have to necessarily worry about these. Uh, well, when you're putting on the timing chain, just make sure they're sitting in the middle of the two camps. Um, make sure these two are on the dots and that one is on the lower dot or else if, it, if not, your timing is off probably. So, uh, let's get this, uh, installed. Okay, now we're just going to add the guides, which are fairly simple in themselves. I did end up buying new guides because, <laughs> just because really, I could have probably gotten away with the old ones, but why not buy new ones since you're already in there? These guides are very easy install and then you've got this whoa I need that uh, this way yes
All right, guys, I actually had to step away for a few minutes because I was actually trying to find this timing chain, timing chain tensioner right here. Who try to say that fast? Um, but basically, I just wanted to um, give you guys a comparison. Now, you're not supposed to reuse the timing chain tensioner. Um, you, you always should buy a new one. And the reason being is because these, this little piston here, you can push it in by hand. But this guide that's right here, you can't, even with this in, you cannot get that guide back in. Um, these are meant to only be used one time. Um, the other thing is too, is when you do get the new one, you're gonna see this little pin right here. It's kind of like a grenade. Do not pull it until you uh, install it or else you're gonna need to, need to get a new one. Okay, the other thing is too, your timing chain, when you get this on, um, it may be a little bit loose on this side. Um, when you, once you get everything on and you get the uh, tensioner on and pull the pin, uh, you're going to want to rotate this whole thing twice, um, using the crank obviously. And basically what'll happen is the, it'll tighten up here and uh, so you won't have to worry about that. Uh, but again, we're gonna install the timing chain, timing chain, chain tensioner now, and then we will uh, do that whole process. Okay guys, now it's time to pull the pin. Drum roll please. Uh, oh, I'm in here by myself, my bad. Anyway, let's pull this pin. One, two, three. See, there we go. Pin is pulled. This is now tight. Um, there's a little um, relief in this particular guide here where the piston actually uh, slides into, so it's not going to move. Um, so yeah, there we go. Now we just got, everything is torqued down to these, these, um, guide bolts are all between 7.7 and 8.7 foot pounds of torque. Same with these, uh, guide, these, uh, guide bolts down here. Um, and then the tensioner bolts are also, um, 7.7 foot pounds to 8.7 foot pounds. So those are all torqued down. We are going to now, um, do rotate this twice um, to get it back to top dead center. The other thing you should note too is your timing marks up here, up here and down here, those um, on the chain, those shouldn't be back on the dots, um, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but so don't get too concerned if it's not right on the dot there. So let me, uh, Let's uh, rotate this twice. Okay guys, there you go. That's two full rotations, no issues. So the timing is all set. Um, and I gotta switch back to the other camera. Um, but I mean, fairly simple. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, but yeah, let's switch back to the other camera now.
And there you have it. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, also, remember that you definitely need to rotate the block, rotate the crank twice. So 360 degrees each time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it is a very important step as well as I'm trying to think. As well as making sure you don't pull this pin first. <laughs> okay. You do not pull this pin. I think I'm going to keep this as a souvenir. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, fairly simple. Again, let me know what you guys think about me going live every Sunday um, around 1, 2 o'clock. Um, just in case you guys have questions, you just want to hang out and chill and say hi, what's up. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, we've made progress, a lot of progress. And I am very happy. Hopefully you guys are happy too. Um, I'm looking to possibly get this block in, what are we, in January. So probably um, mid-April, beginning of May. And then um, it's off to tune. Uh, I also have to go through emissions. I'm trying to figure out, find out a way if, there, if I can get um, an exemption. So that way I never have to go through emissions again. So I'm working on that. <laughs> so um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Go back, watch the other videos. Um, and uh, until next time, like, share, comment, subscribe, and make no limitation your only limitation. Peace.